In this video, I'm going to show you three simple things that will reduce your ad cost on Facebook, even YouTube ads, actually any ads where you're running something and you need people to convert higher. These three little micro adjustments will make your opt-ins, your conversion rate, your sales rate much higher without you actually changing anything on your funnel. Because what I've seen constantly from working with clients at Hyros and looking at all the information coming in there and just my own funnels is that there's usually these small hangups that people just don't know about in their funnels. Like for example, the type of HTML that's page or how you're loading up your scripts or just simply how you're linking to your pages from Facebook. They can go and easily increase your conversion rate by another five, 10. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show you a little switch in this that I made that makes almost virtually no difference to the funnel functionally took me absolutely no effort and improved my opt-in rate by almost 30%. That increases my profit, my ROI, my revenue by 30% as well. So it's definitely worth it. And that's what we're going to get into in today's high training. It's that damn simple. And if you're wondering why I'm teaching all these things, it's simple. When your ad accounts grow, you're probably going to need to track them. And if I help you grow your ad accounts, you're probably going to think, hmm, maybe I should track them with Hyros. It's going to help you save so much money on your ads and help you scale much further once you get to some type of scale. So I'm going to help you scale as much as I possibly can. So that being said, we're going to hop into my computer right now and I want to show you these three things that have just saved me a whopping butt ton of money and made me a lot more revenue. So let's skip the intros and fancy talk and just get to these. And surprise, surprise, I'm gonna do way more than three. I was doing this list and there's so many little things that have improved my ROI immensely without effort. So I'm just gonna share them all with you and then I'll stop when I get bored. So first one right here, this one is huge. This is a case study I shared inside my uh, consulting mastermind. We basically go over our funnels and our ads and basically everything I'm doing and everything I've done to scale eight figure businesses. More importantly, I share all my tests and everything I'm doing there, and this test was huge. So I knew this was going to happen because I did this with one of my first info businesses. A lot of people host all their opt-ins on landing page softwares. You might be using ClickFunnels or other landing page softwares. Now, Convertry I hear is actually pretty good, but most landing page softwares, they're very slow. And you wouldn't notice this because when you check your landing pages, you're probably checking from your computer or your phone and you're usually in a place that has a good connection. But you have to understand most people browsing around Facebook um, and watching YouTube ads, they're you, a lot of the time not at their home. They're not in a stable internet connection. So a, they're going to be working with pretty small or slow download speeds. And so these can take ages to download, seven seconds, 10 seconds. This page, for example, right here, when we converted it from... Click funnels to pure HTML, the opt in rate jumped from 18% uh, to 32%. You can see that in this test right here. This is one of the first tests that came in. And after about 250 visitors, the final results were what was on Click funnels was 18%, and what was on HTML was, I believe, 31.2%. That's massive. That's 30% more customers opting in. That means if I have a funnel, it's generating 100K a month from that 18% opt-in rate. I go and increase that. That thing's going to generate an extra 30,000, 40,000 a month just for making that change. That's all I did. That's all I did to drastically improve the opt-in rates. Now, do I suggest you take all your funnels off of ClickFunnels or landing page software? No. What I see when people go to the next page is they're a little bit more lenient with the load time. So there's a lot of advantages to be on a landing page software. Okay, so just letting you know that. But you want your first landing pages to be in total hyper fast HTML. You can upload this directly to your site. No WordPress, no anything. And that's going to give you the maximum oomph. And this is the most important page of your funnel because how people interact with it determines the whole entire rest of the interaction. Okay, so if you can get past my ugly face right here, I'm about to share two other huge things. And this, this applies to YouTube, supplies to Facebook. First off, Biggest one, at the end of your videos, let the person know when it's done. I can't stress this enough. When you're doing this on YouTube especially, what happens is a lot of people end their ad and then it just ends. So the person, a lot of people are going to watch the ad and then it just boom, ends on them and then they're watching their video and then they're watching cats and you've lost them. So what you want to do is at the end of your videos, just have a simple message saying, hey, it's time to click the ad. Click to get the script and the free training on how to use it. That's it. That's it's the most immensely important thing you can do. And you should also do this on Facebook as well. If you don't do this, people watch the ad and then it stops and they don't know what to do next. They do know what to do next, but they have to be prodded. Okay. Next thing I'd really suggest is at the top of your ads in, in Facebook and YouTube ads, have a extremely 
curiosity peaking headline. You don't want to tell them what the person's going to see in the video. What you want to do is you want to create curiosity to get them to click the video and turn on sound on Facebook or to get them to watch that five seconds on YouTube. This right here and what you say right here is incredibly important on YouTube because those first five seconds, you don't want to tell them what they're going to see because then they know what they're going to see and they're going to click away. You want to say something that's extremely interesting to your target market. For example, if I said something like, you know, watch this cat eat a pizza in 10 seconds, it's going to get the entire internet watching it. That's not good. That's going to drive up my view rate on my ads and drive up the cost. I want to have something that says something like the biggest edge in digital ads right now. And it only means something to, for example, you, if you're watching this video, you're interested in ads. I'm going to attract you on that video and repulse everybody else. That's how you keep the ad costs a lot lower, especially on YouTube. Again, just because a video has really high interaction and views doesn't mean it's getting the right people. In fact, on YouTube, it will make your costs a lot higher if you're attracting everybody and because then they're going to show it to everybody. And we don't want everyone who wants to watch a cat eat a pizza. We want everybody who wants to create digital ads or whatever your target market is. Okay, so the next one, guys, th th this is, again, so simple because you just have to do it. You don't have to add anything to it. Track your ads. You can see right here, the funny thing that's going on is you can see that if I'm going off of what Google's telling me in this example right here, one, I'm using call funnel, so Google's not gonna track my sales. I constantly see people optimizing their ads for opt-ins and calls, specifically. If you're doing this, it's going to get you calls, but that doesn't mean all calls are created equal. It also doesn't mean all opt-ins are created equal. The only thing you wanna be optimizing in your funnels for is sales, okay? And so this is using the Hyros extension right here. I don't know how else you can do this. I'm not trying to push Hyros onto you right now, but the only way I could actually track my sales and optimize around actual numbers is by doing this. And more importantly, just be hyper aware of this. The Facebook pixel is not going to go and consistently deliver accurate results. You can see right here, if I go and look at, let's say, these audiences right here, and I go look at these results of the calls coming in. I guarantee you this audience right here that says eight calls right here, you can see it only generated three calls. Now, I'm perfectly happy with this. $400 per call in my niche is absolutely excellent for me. But a lot of times what you're gonna see with view through conversions and how Facebook loads up its pixels, it's gonna report more calls than it's actually bringing in. And on top of that, it's not gonna be again, reporting off of actual sales coming in as well. And so my biggest advice for you too is don't take what's being reported to you at face value in there. First off, always optimize around money because if you do that, you're going to get the best ROI. Most people don't. And so they have these call funnels or webinar funnels or even e-commerce funnels where they're going off all these metrics are irrelevant to the cash that's coming in. And if you incentivize Google and Facebook to deliver calls and opt-ins, it's going to deliver those as much as it possibly can and ignore the ROI because it's not being targeted towards ROI. And then finally, the next thing is understand that view through conversions and double firing of pixels and everything that goes on. That's a thing. It's a, it's a big real thing. I can go in and verify every single one of these calls and where they came from. I can go inside of Hyros and I can see every single call that came in and attribute where it came from. You can see I have not missed attribution on a call. Out of 20 calls that came in, there's only one that didn't get attributed. Okay, two out of 30 at this point right here. I see where every single one came from. There's no calls coming to my system that aren't attributed. And so what a lot of people are doing is they're working off this number right here and that's just causing all sorts of chaos in their business they don't even know. Okay, this cost per call is fine for me, but I see people paying $1,000 per call when they think they're getting $100 per call. Don't do that. It takes seconds to set that up and actually track your ads, which I suggest using Hyros or you can use whatever solution you want, just, just do it. Okay, so the next one I wanna show you, I see this all the time on Facebook. You see this fold right here, the see more. You need to understand that most people coming from Facebook, most people in general these days are on their phone. So. This is all people are going to see on their phone. And what a lot of people do is they go and write their ads thinking that people are going to click see more. I don't know about you. I don't click see more on a lot of ads. So while people will go and click see more and while you will see slightly better conversions when people read your entire script and it's well written and it's great copy. What I found is extremely important is you need to make your message wrap up or at least be very clear before the see more link right here. When you're writing out your message, you can see I have about this line right here to make a point. AI tracking drops ad CPA by 30 to 50%. It allows optimization. Other businesses cannot re replicate and it takes two seconds to set up. You wanna create curiosity and you wanna create the big benefit they're gonna get if they click see more, more importantly, click see this ad. 
Next thing you want to do that I think is also super important is you want to create almost TMZ like headlines. You want to create something that tells a story. You never want to tell people exactly what they're going to get. Come here and get this blueprint. Nobody wants a blueprint. They want to hear the end of a story. These two things right here on Facebook ads work like gangbusters. And you should really check out my last video on how to design thumbnails because I have a little bit more insight when it comes to designing thumbnails because I have 500,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I know the algorithm works because I know how people click images. And if you understand how to do that with your Facebook images, your YouTube ad images, you're going to do so much better when it comes to CTR. And so I'm not going to talk about images right now, but those are two things right there. I see people just mess up all the time. They tell people exactly what they're going to get. There's no story to be completed. And they, they write the whole entire thing like this. They just keep writing and they like write their entire message and then the message gets cut off by see more and then people on their mobile phones are not seeing the message and not getting curiosity and their CPL goes up and it's just bonkers. And then they're sending people to landing pages created on landing page platforms that are slow. They're driving their opt-ins through the roof. Next thing I want to show you on here, and this only really applies to webinars and opt-in type funnels. It's so easy. If you simply go on your funnels and offer an extra bonus, and this one I offer a copy and paste tracking script to accomplish this right here. But one thing that really increased our opt-in rates at HCOM, which was my info business, I took the eight figures last year, is what I also offered was a cheat list of the best products. If you go in there and you make your big headline and then you offer just a small bonus, you don't want to have a bonus that completely replaces the need to opt in. But if you offer something on top of it, so for example, in our age commands, I said, we're going to show you exactly how we built the Shopify store and got to this level. And also, if you come and check this out, we're going to give you a list of the most high converting products online right now that you can be selling. Doing that right there just dramatically increased our opt-ins. We didn't change anything. Just instantly, the opt-in rates increased by 10%. So we went from 30% to closer to 40%. And that doesn't seem huge. 10% seems small, but that's actually a 25-ish. It's a very large increase. It's a 30% increase almost on the amount of people coming to the funnel. That's huge. That's huge. It's almost one-third more customers coming in. That increases the entire business. Just doing something simple like that can just change everything. Another little tidbit I'm going to show you that really helped our opt-ins. Whenever you put in an image right here, don't put an image of yourself looking professional in a suit. That's what everybody does. Looking like everybody else never works for anybody. At least when you want to get to higher levels. That's just some general advice right there. But what I find works really quickly is you create an image that looks like a video that's about to be played that creates curiosity. People love charts and graphs. This is not a large really applicable piece of advice, but if you can go and get charts and graphs in your content, people always want to know what's going on in charts and graphs. I can watch Wistia videos and the attention goes up whenever a graph comes up or a chart. <clears throat> you ad runners love graphs and charts. Anyways, having this right here with the play button right here, people click that like crazy. And then once a person's clicked it and began, be, began the action chain, they're usually gonna go and type in their email. All right, so it's really just about getting this click on this page. And so this is a really kind of kind of coy way, tongue in cheek way to get the click. And it works, it works. Final thing I'm gonna give you, try ugly pages, or at least split test them. This page right here is terrible, so ugly. But when I go look at most people's opt-ins, it looks like we're going and signing up uh, to go to an Elon Musk Tesla convention. Okay. It's, it's ridiculous. And I'm not saying ridiculous to be rude or saying that it's stupid. I'm saying it's ridiculous because I know it doesn't convert as well because I've tested almost every single type of opt-in and landing page there is. These ugly white background blank text pages just convert higher. I would use a different page if something else convert higher. Cause frankly, I don't like these pages. I want my pages to look nice and hot and sexy, but this always converts higher because really the most important thing when it comes to ads is readability and that the person understands what they're looking at. That's really it. That, that's truly, really it. And so what I suggest you do with your opt-in pages or your ads is try using really simple pages. If you look at Amazon, it looks terrible, but there's no way that's not the most optimized form of a page. Okay. No one really comes and looks at a page and says, oh man, this doesn't look good or not when they're making those knee jerk decisions. Maybe when it comes to like researching something, you go to Apple's website, they have beautiful pages, you go to, you know, any other cool website out there, they have beautiful pages, purple.com is an example. However, when people are making knee-jerk decisions, you need to just give them the information so they can make the knee-jerk decision as fast as possible. Because knee-jerk decisions aren't done through thought. They're done like that. You're walking through the, the line at, let's say, Target, you see a candy bar, you pick it up, you go, okay? 
this always converts significantly higher. That being said, guys, that's the train for today. Those are a couple things that have just dramatically improved my ROI that take almost no effort to do. Real quickly, if you want to see how to track your ads, like I talked about before, how to make sure that you're working with the right data, just go schedule a high roast call with us below. We will actually analyze your ad account and make sure that one, you actually have the ability to do this and it's a good fit for you and then you will actually see an ROI if you start tracking like this. And we'll even show you probably where most of your stats are off. That's what we do on these calls. And if you want to have us set this up for you, we'll do that for you too. And you're going to see the same exact result that I've showed you right here because at Hyros, we have a 90 day refund guarantee. That means if you don't see these results and you don't make more money, we don't make any more money. On top of that, I mentioned my consulting mastermind where I basically walk people through all my ads and funnels and everything I've done to scale my businesses. If you're interested in applying for that or you want to hear more about that, just go below as well. Schedule a consultation with me. I'll take a look at your ads. I'll take a look at your funnels. And I'll say, this is exactly how you need to be scaling this business. It's pretty clear. I'll even show you the targeting and ad copy and type of funnel you should be using. And on top of all that, check out our Facebook group below. It's a, it requires an application, but we have over $50 million a month worth of media buyers in there. And it's frankly the best ad buying group online right now, just period. There's no group that has more people in it that are spending the amount of money of all the media buyers that we have in our group. The only one I can think of is like paid and who wants to do that? So check that all out and I will see you in the next video. Be sure to watch your email. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm just gonna keep releasing content like this so you can scale your ads and then hopefully hop on iOS in the future. It's been Becker, I'll catch you later.